seen me. How are you all doing today? Who is excited to see Donald J. Trump? I am. I've been waiting a couple of weeks to see Big Daddy come home, and I cannot wait. So I have a speech, but the bottom line is I can't read it because it's going to blow away, so we're going to wing it. So for those of you, literally, I'm flying away here. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Katie Arrington. And you know what I am today? I'm a Trump-endorsed America First candidate running for Congress in the 1st Congressional District. Now, I take a pride in what I am. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother of four. I'm a businesswoman. But more importantly, I'm a servant leader. And I'm going to tell you what servant leadership is about. My mom raised us girls. There are three of us. And she had a rule. We had five people in the house and one bathroom. And my mother would say to me, Katie, if you come to me with a problem without a solution, you're whining. I became a problem solver at a very young age. And you know what? In Washington, we got a lot of whiners, don't we? A lot of damn whiners. And I am not going to Washington to be a whiner. I am going to Washington to solve problems. I'm going to be a servant leader. We had the best president the United States of America has ever known. We had the safest borders. We had sky, I mean, unemployment was a joke. We had fair trade, economic freedom. We were energy independent for the love of God. We were energy independent. Our allies, they respected us and our adversaries feel us. And damn it, I miss that. <laughs> President Biden has brought us into places I never thought. But you know, Barack Obama did say, never underestimate how Joe can mess things up. Now, I served President Trump in the Pentagon. I worked the supply chain during the pandemic. And I can tell you, while we were busy working, making sure that you had the medical supplies that you needed, the gasoline in your car, and the grocery stores filled, we had Nancy Pelosi up in the ivory tower eating $12 ice cream in front of her $20,000 refrigerator while Joe Biden was hiding in the damn basement. Now, when Joe finally came up out of the basement, what did he bring with us? A national crisis at the border. The worst security this country has ever known internationally and domestically. He has raised our gases. He has emptied the stores of our supply chain. So what do we have to thank? Well, we got to thank the Democrats, but let's not forget those rhinos. Let's not forget those who turn coats, right? And you know who I'm talking about? The Liz Cheney of the South, none other than Nancy Mace. And Nancy Mace is who I'm out here to take out. She turned her back on President Trump. She turned her back on me. And she turned her back on you. She said that, A, President Trump was responsible for January 6th and that everything that he worked for and you did was desecrated in that day. And I don't know about you, but that makes me mad. She voted to certify the election. Congress has no problem shutting down when they can't argue and get together on a budget, but yet they couldn't send back the votes for 30 days. I find that deplorable. I find that inexcusable. And I'm going to Washington because I want to be a servant leader. I'm a lot like DJT. You know why? I don't want to ever call myself a politician. I think that's a four letter word in my book. I'm going up to Washington to be a servant leader. How? I'm donating my salary to the charities in the first congressional district because you don't need to pay me to serve you. I'm not taking congressional retirement and health care benefits because you don't need to take care of me. And I'm only going up for four terms if you have me, but hold me accountable every two years because it shouldn't be about becoming a career politician. It should be about being a servant leader. We have to bring that back. We need to get all the rhinos out. We need to stand arm in arm. Because you know what happens when we divide as a Republican Party? Socialism runs right down the middle of us, and we have got to hold the line. So my primary is a very special day. It is June 14th. 
Who knows what that day is? DJ T's birthday. So how about you give him the best present he could ever have and you send this four foot tall, 110 pound America first warrior to Washington to clean house, to fire Fauci. How about that, right? Fire Fauci, get rid of the Federal Department of Education, open the damn laptop and take America back. Vote for me, Katie Arrington, Go to the website, Katie4FORSE. Now listen, I know times are tough out there. I know all of us are struggling financially, but I need your help to take out Mace. I need your help to drain the swamp and send those people back to where they came from. Now, I'm gonna leave you with this. My family and my team are probably rolling their eyes because I wasn't supposed to swear, but my God, you all are beautiful to look at. You are America. And I will tell you what Graham Allen said early, listen to it. You are the power, you are the people. Government is not here to hold you down and don't you let them take it from you. Don't wear your mask, be free. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know about you, but God bless every single one of you. I wish you nothing but health, happiness, and wellness, and that you're with your family and your friends. God bless South Carolina. God bless you. And God bless the great state, the, oh, the great United States of America. Thank you all, and get ready for DJT. Woo! <laughs> And I'm taking my stool with me. Please welcome the candidate for the South Carolina 7th Congressional District, State Representative Russell Fry.